I didn't even know what I was looking at. Uh, uh, it was just an unreal scene. It's been nearly 35 years since Bill Hughes discovered the bodies of four people murdered with a hatchet inside a Chino Hills home. One of the victims, his 11-year-old son, Chris, who was there for a sleepover. And I thought someone had thrown paint on the walls, but it was blood. The man convicted of the crimes, Kevin Cooper, who in June 1983 had recently escaped from prison and was hiding out in a home not far from the eventual murder scene. He's now on death row, but a recent New York Times article suggests new DNA testing could prove his innocence. Is there any doubt in your mind that Kevin Cooper killed your son? None. Well, we got DNA that was found in the in the home where they were killed, his DNA. District Attorney Mike Ramos says numerous post-trial DNA tests have confirmed Kevin Cooper as the killer. But according to the Times article, Cooper may have been framed by sheriff's deputies who were desperate to solve the crime. They suggest further DNA testing of the murder weapon might reveal another possible killer other than Cooper. But Ramos says such testing would be inconclusive because so many people have touched the hatchet, including jury members. All kinds of people, different people, unknown people, and that's what they want. See, he's innocent. Nevertheless, Senator Kamala Harris tweeted, as a firm believer in DNA testing, I hope the governor and the state will allow for such testing in the case of Kevin Cooper. Governor Jerry Brown's office said, we received a clemency petition from Mr. Cooper and it remains under review. A request for clemency is a serious matter and applications are thoroughly and diligently reviewed. There's no such thing as closure. Closure doesn't exist, but there, but there is such a thing of having justice, and that's what we keep waiting for. Rob McMillan, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.